This is part two video for our copper hydroxide lab. Now we're going to be looking at the decomposition of copper to hydroxide to copper oxide. So we're going to start by measuring the mass of an evaporating dish. Okay, in my experiment, I measured 26.15 grams. And then we're going to place our product in that evaporating dish and then gently heat it and then record a final mass when we're done. And my final mass is 26.41 grams. Now my job is to figure out how much copper to oxide are actually in this dish. So I'm just going to take that 26.41 grams and I'm going to subtract the empty 26.15 grams. And that gives me 0.26 grams of copper oxide uh, that is produced. Now we'll look at the bounce reaction for that and we'll determine our yield that we're supposed to get from this, okay? So a balanced chemical reaction for the decomposition of copper to hydroxide. So I've got Cu and then OH parenthesis 2. And again, we're just heating it. It goes to uh, copper to oxide plus water. And that's an RE balanced equation. Now we see that there's still one amount of this and making one amount of this. So the number of moles of copper to oxide that should be produced is still 0 0.00801 moles. Because it's all one to one everywhere. Now how many grams of copper to oxide should be produced? Well, we need to get the molar mass again. So copper to oxide is this. So the mass of one copper plus one oxygen. Uh, that adds up to be 79.546 grams, okay, for the molar mass of that. Okay, so how many are supposed to be produced? Well, we have the moles, so, and it's still a one-stepper because the word mole is in the question, so 0 0.00801 moles of copper oxide multiplied by its molar mass of 79. 0.546 grams of CuO over one mole of CuO. And that, of course, will give us the moles of copper oxide. It will give us the grams, rather, not the moles. I'll put a gram there instead. Okay, so when we multiply those uh, two out, it's 0.637 grams of copper oxide. So now our job is to determine the percent yield. Well, from above, I calculated I, I got 0.26 grams, and I'll divide that by the 0.637. Okay, and then of course times that by 100, and uh, that gives me a percent yield of 40.8%. Okay, and then any experimental errors to explain why I'm, we're not 100%. Again, we probably have some crystals left on our filter paper. Yeah, we lost crystals initially of the copper hydroxide from before. Okay, and uh, maybe some crystals fell on the actual table when you're transferring them over. So th those are all reasons for experimental errors, okay, for this experiment. And that's all of our calculations. Let's try it and see how you did.